I'm fixing this 2007 E350. It's got a problem where the rear AC uh, is always blowing out heat through the bottom. It never blows out cold through the top. So we got to get to the HVAC box, which is located on the driver's side behind all this trim. You just pull on this lever and you can see this pops out. You do the same on this side. You pull on the lever and you remove this. Uh, at this point, you can grab the whole seat and pull it back and it slides out of its retainer. So we're gonna go ahead and get both the seats out and then go from there. All right, we've got the seats out. So now, next step is to remove this trim panel here. You've got to first off remove this Torx, the Torx Plus 45. You pop that out. You're gonna wanna move this trim. When you pull this trim out, you see push pins. Got to pop those out. There's also plastic pieces here that you'll want to uh, pull out. So yeah, once you've got the plastic out and you've unbolted this, you can basically just grab the trim and pop it away. Uh, it's only held on by uh, clips. Uh, you'll also have to remove this panel slightly. You don't have to remove it, you just have to pop it out, give clearance. And once you remove this top piece, then you focus on the bottom piece, get it out the way, and then we should be able to see what's going on with the HVAC box down there. We've got the top trim out, now it's time to remove the bottom. To do that, you remove each Phillips head screw. Now you can pull the trim down like I have already. And any plastic push pins here, you've got to pull out. Once you've got all of the fasteners removed, there are a couple places where the trim is secured by these uh, clips, I guess is what you'd call them. There's one down there, can't quite see. But uh, basically, once you get all the fasteners removed, you take the trim and you kind of pop it back. The rear is pretty simple. You've got your fan, which is working. Now this has two modes of operation. In one mode, it's pushing heat out through the floor, and in the other mode, it's blowing cold air up through here and through the vents at the top. Now on this particular van, it's always blowing hot air from the vent. There's an actuator here. When it receives a vacuum, it's supposed to redirect the airflow up through the ceiling. Right now I have the engine running and I have the I have everything turned on AC wise and I see that it is indeed receiving a vacuum. So that tells me that the problem is either with the actuator itself or with the blend door. I'm going to remove the blower motor so I can take a look inside, see what's going on with the actuator. I've hooked my vacuum pump up to the actuator. I want to see if the actuator is able to hold pressure or hold a vacuum, and it appears as though it is. Ah, so I'm, a, I'm building up vacuum, and I can see the part of the actuator shoot down. When I release the vacuum, I see it come back up. The part of the blend door that the actuator goes to appears to be broken. Nah, there's the broken piece right there. In order to get this out, I have to remove this actuator piece. Hold on a sec. I have to remove this actuator. What there's one eight millimeter bolt. Hold up. Hold those. Come on, Stas. Looks like it can be kind of tough to get to that one bolt back there. So I'm going to see if I can move this whole assembly up a little bit, get some clearance, zip out a couple 10 millimeter bolts here and there, see if I can get some room.
All right, so with that bolt removed, the trick to, get the, to getting this thing out is to flap this open. There are two plastic tabs in here. I already broke one, but the idea is you push So you push the tabs together, you reach in there and you push the tabs together, and it will pop out. So, so yeah, you just reach in and you squeeze these together and it pops right out. So with the actuator removed, I should be able to just slide this out. Possibly. There's the old and the new. You can see where the old one broke. Make sure that this rib ends up upward like this, so the nub will be pointed away from you. The actuator ends up like this. Let's get to work. Alright, I've got this sitting up in here. Now this is the tricky part. You've got to hook this up before you proceed any further. I can definitely not do that one-handed, so I'm going to have to stop filming. Got them hooked up. It's a pretty sight. Looks pretty good. So now, to install, you slide in this piece first. Like so. And then the bottom, remember those two little plastic clips? The two little plastic nubs? two plastic nubs that you had to push together to remove they go in that little receiver there and that's it you've got yourself a blend door don't forget to reinstall this screw you got to hook the line back up of course and put everything back together and your rear AC will start working got all the bolts back in the vacuum line is hooked back up and I verified that it works reinstalled the blower motor be sure to hook that back up as well and I put this back in so now it's ready to receive the trim put the bottom trim back first and then the top trim then you can throw the seats in Now the van's blowing icy cold air in the back. So, job well done. <laughs>